one of our outreaches is to at-risk or exploited women in jail each week. And so one week recently we walked in and, and we walked into the large pod that had about 20 girls in and this one girl comes right up to us and she's like, oh my gosh, I recognize you. Um, you met me on the street, you gave me a hygiene packet and you prayed for me. And this happens from time to time. We'll meet women in one outreach that we met in another context. And so she just wanted to give us an update that in the last two years, um, like shortly after we met her on the street, she'd gotten out of prostitution. She'd got her in place, got on her feet a little bit. She said she was in jail um, sorting out a few warrants. And it was just great to catch up with her. And I was so encouraged. She ended up turning around and announcing to the whole pod, I met these girls while I was still in prostitution. They met me on the street, they helped me. And I was like, oh wow, she announced it to the whole pod. But I think she was just so, um, excited to reconnect with us so then the following week I walk back in the pod I'm looking out for this girl we'll call her Ashley and I see her she comes up to me and she grabs my arm she's like Helen something incredible happened this week that I want to tell you about and so she takes me aside and just begins to tell me that a few days before um, she was reading this book by this man who um, found God in jail and she basically asked God to come into her life, to show himself to her. And she said, I just felt this love and power surging over me. It was like nothing I'd ever felt before. And I felt God's love and his presence. And she showed me her cell and all around the wall, she'd written Bible verses and stuck them up on the wall. And right over her bed was written on a piece of paper that day, a few days prior. And it said, the day I gave my life to God. And she said, I want to get baptized. I want to completely change my life. Uh, I want to follow Jesus. And it was so moving. We both just cried. And um, I gave her a hug. I gave her our resource packet. We talked a little bit more about the future and what that um, could involve, some different options for her. Um, and I was just so thrilled that we, um, we got to connect with her again because often we meet a woman on the street and we never get to follow up. If we never see her again, we never know what happened to her. And so to meet Ashley two years later and to witness this incredible transformation take place in her life was so profound. Our campaign this year is called Be the Bridge to Freedom. And so we just invite you to be the bridge um, through all our different initiatives, whether it's outreach, changing laws, shifting mindsets, um, reaching ones like Ashley and just seeing them go on that bridge from exploitation into empowerment, from slavery into freedom. Um, you can go to exoduscry.com for more information for this story written in a blog and just find out the ways that you can get involved and in being a bridge to freedom.